Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some Cadence of Hyrule. Uh, this is a game from the Crypt of the Necrodancer developers, it's basically a crossover between the two games, I believe. I haven't played it at all yet, it's pretty new, it came out a couple of days ago. Um, and I'm looking forward to it, I like Crypt of the Necrodancer, I like Zelda, it's a good combination. Uh, let's see how it goes. Well, there's a little pixely uh, fairy in the corner there, so that's pretty cute. I <laughs> get it. Brace yourself. <laughs> Head exploded. Okay, what do we got? We got our controls. Lots and lots of options here. I'll leave this in the defaults for now. You can remap your controllers if you want. I don't want to, so I'm just gonna reconnect the one I'm just using. There we go. <laughs> Graphics settings. Uh, you can turn off stuff like that. Uh, I think it might be a good idea not to watch this video if you have epilep epilepsy or similar photosensitive issues because I'm leaving these on and these are basically here so that people who have epilepsy and photosensitive issues can turn them off. Uh, so yeah, be careful with that. Uh, Change the language if you want. Turn on subtitles, yes please. Alright. Uh, I guess I'll go a new game. Gets free save files. Uh, I'll start a new game, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely no latency at all. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Every world has its evils. This is true. And when the balance of power is inevitably lost, it's up to the courageous. There she is. And the wise. <gasps> there she is. I love them both. To restore it. But sometimes... Sometimes... They need a little... Extra... Help! Oh, this is cool. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. It's Cadence, I love her. So powerful. And she got a shovel. Oh my gosh, look at it, it's like Link to the Past. Hey, hey Hugh, it's Navi. Hi Trill. It's not Navi, it's Trill. Something strange to me right on in Hyrule. Pretty cool. I don't think I need to go to the rhythm yet, but I'm doing it anyway. Ooh, fog of war, interesting. I'm stumped. Ah, uh, get it. <laughs> Look at a that's good. I can burn the stump and I can... Oh, I see. Okay. Timer in this room. This monster is not friendly, and you hear intense music. Nobody moves around. Everyone is forced to move to the beat of the song. Oh. 
just dance in simple patterns, learn their patterns, and always be able to defeat them without taking damage yourself. Simple pattern too, he learns every second beat and puts his arms up before he jumps. This music is really good, by the way. Okay, now I can move as fast as I can just move normally again? Yeah. Oh look, I can hop around like this, that's cute. Hey, a shovel! Where place are you from? Well... <laughs> oh my goodness. There they are, how do we save them? Oh, I don't know. I love them both. Zelda first. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love this. Who are you? At first I was alarmed when you fell from the sky. Then I saw that Trill was with you, so I know you must be trustworthy. Did we just wake up Zelda? Or? Yeah. Looked like the Triforce. I knew you were special. Thank you for helping to wake Zelda. She's been asleep for a while, so I'm going to stay with her to explain what's going on in Hyrule. She tried to find your way home. I hope our paths cross again someday soon, friend of Hyrule. Oh, now I'm playing a Zelda. Oh my gosh, yes! Let's go! Let's get a dagger, yeah. You get out of the castle. Your fire's been taken, and most of the guards on Grabeo command. Part of the castle has been sealed by Octavo's golden loot. You need to find something that capable of breaking the seal to save the king. Take this telescope, it should help you search. Oh my goodness. The map? Inventory. This is my map. Ooh. Ooh. Alrighty. So I can just smash these. There we go. Zelda's got three hearts instead of five. I got Nehru's love. It's assigned to R, and only Zelda can use this. Use it at the right time to reflect projectiles or melee damage from all directions. If your timing is one beat early, you can still block the damage. Got oh, bombs! Oh my gosh! I'm not doing very well, I'm not deflecting damage very well. <laughs> hey look, a Sheikah stone! Yeah, if you defeated, the fates will return you to the world with any Sheikah stone you've activated. Okay, so they're like checkpoints or whatever. So let's do that. Remember Octavo, the musician who put you to sleep? While you were sleeping, locked up your father and sealed off Hyrule Castle. The seal can be broken only by besting his four champions. Zelda, we need to travel the world to find and defeat those four champions. Music is really good. Certain items. I get the feeling I don't have the right item to do this yet. I can't swim, so yeah. Diamonds won't be lost when you get a game over. You can spend them at special shops you'll find throughout the world. Okay, so that's just like in um the original Crypt of the Necrodancer. Same basic deal. Piece of heart! Oh my gosh! That's really exciting. <laughs> it's 
want to go down this way? This is really, really impressive. I'm not very good at it, but I'm really impressed with the concept. Well, that rests my controls. Monsters out of the way. Maybe if I, maybe I have bomb them or something. Yeah, that'll work. I uh, can't reach that one. Fixed beat mode. Your movement is unlocked from the beat, and enemies only move when you do. That seems to miss the point of the beat. I just want to practice getting better at it, honestly. Yeah, the fixed beat moment turns it into more like a roguelike than like a rhythm game by the sound of things. diamonds to buy something. Oh, okay, so yeah, it's just like in the in the other game. Um, I think I'll buy a heart container. I can afford that, so... Thank you! Ooh, okay, I'm kind of warped wherever I want. Okay, so, rather than being, you know, a randomly generated roguelike, it's sort of, sort of, basically a Zelda game, but with semi permadeath I guess? Yeah, let's go there. <coughs> I'm not good at fighting these guys. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm bad at the games. Oh, it gave me a diamond just because I sucked so bad. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, I'll have the torch. Is it like a permanent upgrade or I don't know. Whoa 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 whoa. whoa. Bad at rhythm games. Do, do.
Yay! Beat everyone on the screen, finally. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, I'm not great at this game. <laughs> I'm fun though. Oh dear. <sighs> I got one gem, so I can buy something. Yeah, these aren't permanent upgrades by the looks of things. Whereas the heart container is. Like the shovel, I guess? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh dear. Uh, let's warp somewhere else. Because <laughs> that looks a bit dangerous. Um, I'm going back here and see if there's some, another direction I can go. Uh, on this screen, no. But I can go back in here and... Impressed. Uh, can I go get the shovel? No, I can't. Because that dirt's in the way. That's clever. Can't go back that way either. Oh, seriously? Uh. Well, I know there's a hot container down there now, but I... Hmm. Let's go to this one, I guess. I haven't been one screen south of here yet, so let's try that. Take a stone here that I can get to, maybe. If I'm lucky. There's one here, too. This looks a lot like uh, Link's Awakening, this, this beach here, which is really, really cool. Most of the areas look like, um. What's up, friend? Look like, uh, the other game, Link to the Past, but that part looks like Link's Awakening. <gasps> Look who it is! You got the loot assigned to A, B, X, Y in the inventory screen. Let your travel instance any Sheikah stone you've activated all around Hyrule. So is that... Do we keep that? Or is that like a one-time discovery thing? I'm not sure which things count as fragile equipment that you lose and which don't. Oh, cool, look at that. I can just warp anywhere. That's handy. Hello. No idea.
This chest has a time. I can unlock the chest to fatally in before time expires. Oh wow. I'm not gonna be able to do that. Are there more enemies? I can't see any more enemies. Hmm. Yeah, I kept the loot, so I can still keep warping around. Car containers over here, right? Yeah. It's pizza hard, but close enough. Various parts of this remind me of various 2D Zeldas. Some of this stuff looks like Minish Cap, and some of it looks like Link to the Past, and some of it looks like Link's Awakening. And it's all really good. I really like it, and I just died. But I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> Ooh! Bomb shoes! That's exciting. Didn't know this game had bomb shoes, but it does. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. enormously impressed with this game. Even though I'm not good at it. Am I supposed to attack it? Or does that make everything kill me? I'm guessing if you attack a Kako, then Kako is swarm on you or whatever. Just like in the original.
Kakariko Village. Oh my gosh. Kakariko? The village. You know the village. Oh my gosh. Can I get bottles in this game? Oh wow. Oh my gosh. You can buy stuff at the little shop there. Wow, there's a there's a target archery game thing. It's Dampe! Dump Dampe? The the gravedigger guy. Oh my gosh. Oops. This is so great. Items broke. Oh, okay, it was one of those items. The ones that can break. You can't get healed by talking to a Sheikah stone you already talked to. That makes sense, I guess. A bit too easy to heal otherwise. <gasps> Power glove! It's so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's just, it's a Zelda game. But it's also a Creatures of Necrodancer game. And it's just, it's really, really good. And I'm super impressed with this. Oh my gosh. Like, it's not just Crypt of the Necrodancer with, with Zelda stuff. They've made, like, a proper Zelda overworld with dungeons in it and upgrades that correspond to stuff in Zelda and all the items of that. And I'm playing as Princess Zelda right now. Oh my gosh. Like, it could have just been, you know, the same game as Crypt of the Necrodancer, but reskinned, but it isn't. They, they, they've put a whole lot of effort into making this game a Zelda game, even though it's Crypt of the Necrodancer, and I just, I'm really excited by what I'm seeing here, because it looks amazing. No, net again. Oh my goodness, I don't have a shovel. I'm just, I'm just, this is so great. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go a screen south of here because I haven't been here yet. Okay, I've got a bunch of mobs. Pushing mechanic for um, climbing up stuff is a little fiddly. Hey, what are you doing? I'm not allowed to dodge. It's my job. <laughs> yeah, there's still more monsters. Uh, is it that guy? Yeah. Um. 
Actually, okay, what I'm supposed to do then? I can't reach him. Um, hmm. Is that a stamina potion? Yes. Duck too quickly. Hmm. Hmm. Can I throw a bomb all the way over there? It looks a bit far. I can blow myself up with it. <laughs> hmm. Let's go south from this screen, I guess. No, I can't go south. Alright, I'll go a different direction. Switch it to fixed bait mode. Let's see what happens. Just, just to get an idea of the difference. Okay, so it lets me move whenever I want and the enemies move at the same time. That's that's easier. Um, I mean it's not a rhythm game anymore, but that's okay. Here I am again. Okay, I think that's all the monsters once I kill this one. It is, yes! 
and powerful. Ring of courage. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna do this in time. I'm using up so many turns, just moving through water. I need like flippers or something. Also, I, I don't know where the actual last enemy is. I'm guessing that guy spits here. <sighs> oh, stairs, where do they go? Okay, there's mums in here, so I guess that's cool. Not super exciting. easier in this fixed beat mode, but it's probably more fun in regular mode, since you're losing the whole rhythm game aspect of it. The fixed beat mode is there as like an accessibility thing for people who aren't so good with rhythm, which is good. Because I aren't so good with rhythm, I'm one of those people. quite far. <laughs> yeah, give me that diamond. Also, I want to go inside this beach house here. <laughs> Ooh. Bottle. Hmm. Do I keep it forever? Is it permanent? I'm guessing yes. Yeah, probably. I don't have the flippers yet, so I can't actually use this very well. Okay, so I can move through a single deep water tile without them. That's handy. So, like I can step there and be fine, but I can't go more than one tile. I also still sink in shallow water, which is kind of silly. <coughs> Oh, I know I'm dead. Should I keep the bomb trees? Probably. Yeah, I kept all the stuff. So yeah, you do keep most of your items when you die, which is good, because Zelda games have a lot of items. Um... Okay, I have three gems. 
I don't know if you keep them if you don't spend them. In the original like, Crypt of the Necrodancer, you lose the gems if you don't spend them immediately. Uh, let's see what happens. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I still have them. Cool. Okay, so you can save them up in this game. the flippers to... No, I don't need flippers. I... I can cross one deep water tile, not more than one. So I can't actually get across there. Let's head over here. chest. Ooh, the Torch of Reflection. Sounds good. <gasps> I can get that. I need to cross one deep water tile so I can get over there. Yeah. I have a new high container. Heck yeah. I have a shovel either, so I can't get into the dirty parts. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm really impressed with this whole game. I'm, I'm just really glad that this exists. Because, yeah, it's, it is a full-blown Zelda title where you play as Zelda, and it's also a Crypt of the Necrodancer title, which is an amazing combination that I am extremely excited about. Um... Who hasn't wanted a Zelda title where you play as Zelda, honestly? Ooh, Gore and Locket, what does that do? I can't buy it, but it looks good. Probably something to do with the bombs, because the other things are bombs, but I don't know what. Fortune teller? Oh no, I know you. Hang on. Fate's chosen one. Where your future is 10 rupees. So yeah, it's just the fortune. And you also can buy potions. Cool. Two diamonds. That's pretty good. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
da 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 I'm really liking this whole game. <laughs> I'm just really impressed with the entire game. Ooh, glass beer. Sounds like fun. Oh, the spear broke instantly. First time I hit someone with it. <laughs> Makes sense, I guess. It's made of glass. Is scary. It's a shallow water, right? Yeah, I can just walk in it. Diamonds, yeah. <laughs> I'm incredibly impressed with this entire, entire game. I've said this before, but it's it's so good. This is such a good game. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, that's been like 50 minutes. That's probably enough to demonstrate the game. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's Cadence of Hyrule, which is a new game that came out a couple of days ago that is essentially a new 2D Zelda game that also happens to be Crypt of the Necrodancer. And that combination is astonishingly cool to me, and I think this is an amazing game, and I'm so freaking hyped. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So yeah, that's this game, and I'm super excited about it. <laughs> um, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you're as excited as I am, because wow, what a cool game that this is. Um, and yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, bye! <laughs>